Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the S Stream application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. It's an amazing app that you can use to watch movies as well as TV shows online and totally for free. And the app itself is super easy to set up. I just had to blur out my screen because YouTube doesn't allow me to show you the exact applications available in that app. But in your case, of course, it's not going to be blurry. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get the S-Stream app to your device. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it totally for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, we just go to Search on your device. And now here in the search bar, we start typing the Unloader. And as you can see, the Unloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on it, and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you've got the loader, it is not over yet. We still have to set it up. So in order to actually set up the loader, we'll have to go to the settings by clicking on that button with the gear icon. Then we scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. And from here, we'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you are unable to find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for seven times. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So, if you go back a bit, you will finally see the developer options, which now have appeared for us right here. So, open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then you'll have to go to install unknown apps. From here, just locate the loader and make sure to turn that option on. So, what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, we've got to go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here. So we open it, and there is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which you always recommend doing. It's, of course, connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to Austria right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important, if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So, let's go to the list of apps on your device, there it is. And now, just load the loader, wait until it starts up for you. Then, on the left side menu, make sure to click on Home and not on Browser. And now, in that search bar, we we'll need to enter a code, which is going to be 2, 8, 9, 0, and 7. So, once again, the code is 2, 8, 9, 0, 7. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see, and do not make any mistakes. Because, obviously, if you make a mistake, then the code is not going to work. After that, you have to click on Go. And while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe to my channel, so you will get even more content about Fire Sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly really helps me a lot, and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. 
And now, after the website has opened for you, just go down a bit until you find that list of categories. And from here, you have to click on Movies and TV, so click on it. And then a huge list of apps is going to open, which you have to scroll down until you find the S Stream application. Should be somewhere here. Oh yeah, there it is. So now we click on S Stream and wait until a new web page opens for us, which is right here. Now we have to scroll down as well until we find the Download for Fire TV Android TV button. There it is. Let's click on it. And in a couple of moments, the download is going to start. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on the connection speed on your Fire Stick. Then you have to click on install and wait until the app gets installed to a Fire TV or Android TV. And after the installation is finished, don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way you will have an option to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on your device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary files from our Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important, because you don't have too much of free space on your Fire Stick anyway. Now, finally, we need to go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, so now it loads, and there at the bottom you'll find a stream, which we just loaded. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button of three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, a stream is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Enjoy, and see you next time. Bye-bye.